Hello and welcome to the session in which we would discuss critical audit matters or known as CAMs. Now, where do we find CAMs? Well, we find CAMs in the audit report, and this is part of an audit report. In the prior session, we looked at the whole audit report. This was the full audit report, and I discussed all parts except the critical audit matters. And what I said is it's worth looking at the critical audit matters separately. So if you want to see the information about the other parts of the audit report, please look at the prior recording. So first, we're going to see what is critical audit matters. We're just going to read from the report, then explain what need to learn what we need to learn about this subject important and relatively new subject let's see the critical audit matters communicated below are matters which is we don't we don't see them arising from current period notice it's current period audit of the financial statements that were communicated or required to be communicated to the audit committee so what does that mean it means those issues that we are reporting here which is you don't see they were required to be reported or they were actually reported that relate to accounts or disclosure that are material to the financial statements, especially involving challenging, subjective or complex judgment. So those are the critical matters. The communication of critical matters does not alter in any way our opinion on the financial statement. So simply put, we might list hundreds of those. That's not likely, but we might list a lot of them. But they're not going to affect our opinion taken as a whole and we are not by communicating the, the the critical audit matters below providing separate opinion on the critical audit matters or the accounts or disclosure to which they relate so we're not expressing an opinion they're just telling you these are the critical audit matters simply put those are required communication between the auditor and the audit committee you either have to tell them or you should have told them and if there's no cams no critical audit matters you should tell us that. Well, but CAMs are expected. Why? Companies will always have certain subjective matters, complex judgment, challenging accounting issues. So the auditor, to cover themselves, they want to identify those critical audit matter and communicate them to the audit committee. Because if something happened down the road and you did not communicate this information, you did not consider it crit critical audit matter, and by listing this critical audit matters, you're telling the users, look, we are having some serious discussion about this issue. We want you to take a note of it. So that's the importance of the critical audit matter. And critical audit matter can only relate to the current audit period. And notice what it says here, they're arising from the current period audit. You could also have other period could be mentioned for comparability purposes, this is optional. Now, how do we determine how do we determine as an auditor whether an issue is a critical audit matter or not? Well, let's see. First, we ask ourselves, was the matter communicated or required to be communicated to the audit committee? So was it serious enough? If the answer is no, it's not a camp. It's not a critical audit matter because it's not serious to be communicated to the audit, audit committee. Then we ask if yes, we ask ourselves. Is the matter related to account or disclosure that material to the financial statement? Is the information material to the financial statement, whether it's the account or the disclosure? If the answer is no, we have no CAM. We have no critical audit matter. Then we ask ourselves if the answer is yes. Does the matter involve challenging, subjective or complex audit judgment? If the answer is no, we have no critical audit matters, no CAM. If the answer is yes, guess what? We do have that camera. CAM, critical audit matter. So this is how we determine whether we have a critical audit matter at hand. Now we need to discuss more about critical audit matters. But before we discuss more, I would like to make an announcement about my company. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. More specific about CAMs, for each CAM, the auditor must include the following information in the audit report. And we saw them. 
Ident uh, when, with, really, we did not see examples, but I'm gonna, we'll, we're going to see an example later. Identification of the matter, description of the principal consideration that led the auditor to determine that the matter is a CAM. Like, why did we determine that the matter is a CAM? And we'll see an example from an annual report from a from a uh, from a company and description of how the cam was addressed in the audit how did we take care of this and we need to refer to the relevant financial statement accounts and disclosure that relate to cam so this cam relate to this account and to this disclosure simply put we must articulate as auditors what matter is a cam what, what scam how is it addressed how did we take care of it we need to keep documentation and records on the process, how a particular issue was determined to be a CAM or not a CAM. Now, just to give you a realistic perspective, because again, this CAM is a fairly new issue. Accounting Today, it's a magazine on October 25th, 2019. They have a list of percentage of companies, what topics did they cover under CAM. So CAM dealt with, the number one issue was goodwill and indefinite life intangible asset impairment. So 27% of the CAM dealt with that, which is one-fourth of them. 21%, which is one-fifth, dealt with revenue recognition. But notice, goodwill, indefinite life intangible assets, those accounts, they need a lot of judgment, a lot of estimation of cash flows. Three, 12.4, which is, you know, around a little bit over 10% for acquisition, including devaluation of intangible assets. Again, valuation, valuation need judgment. 12.4 included tax contingencies, including international assumptions and estimate. So anytime we have an estimate, anytime we have a judgment, well, could be a, a CAM and therefore it, it needs to be reported. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to actually show you from the annual report, for example, this example from Microsoft, what a CAM looks like in the actual report. The critical audit matter identified the audit effort required to evaluate management significant judgment and procedures performed, performed to evaluate compliance with each step of the revenue recognition accounting standard. So notice here they're talking about accounting standard. For income taxes, Microsoft has open tax year under audit by the IRS and uncertain tax position related to the transfer pricing unresolved with the IRS. Those are also critical audit matters. These required significant estimates and determining the third taxes and the auditor itemized how they how they evaluated the reasonableness of management estimates and judgments so simply put we are taking note making making sure we are documenting everything including documentation the use of a specialist and the related tax and case law so we're documenting why it's a case, why it's a cam under what circumstances and what are the criteria for us that classify this as a cam ADP. So let's take a look at ADP. ADP, the auditor tested internal control over impairment analysis process and evaluated the reasonableness of the assumption management's ability to forecast with the assistance of their fair value specialist. Well, guess what? Impairment is important. There, there were a second critical audit matter about the liability for the client fund obligation, which, which is ADP's contractual obligation to remit funds for payroll and tax payment. This was selected, so they're telling you why it was selected as a critical audit matter by the auditor because of the high dollar amount and the volume of transaction along the complexity of ADP data extraction and reconciliation process. So what they believe, they believe the liability for client fund obligation is a critical audit matter and they're telling you why and they'll tell you how they deal with it now this is not a complete if you want to a complete report if you want to go to microsoft and adp or your favorite company's annual report to see if they have a cam and they should have a cam and don't go too far i mean again cam is a recent a re relatively recent topic but this is what you need to know about cam what should you do now go to farhat lectures to learn more about this topic and other topic by answering multiple choice and true false and looking at additional lectures that emphasize the topics. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.